What's up everybody? My name's Trey and welcome to another video. Now if you are brand new to dropshipping, I do recommend that you use AliExpress when it comes to fulfilling your orders for your dropshipping business. And that's because when you use AliExpress, it has a really low barrier of entry and you begin to understand the basics of sourcing and fulfilling your products. But if you've been dropshipping for some time or you've already found a winning product, it's time to transition to a different supplier that's going to be more profitable in the long run. And that's because what you'll begin to notice is that AliExpress has super long shipping times, pretty poor quality products, and well, it's flooded with other drop shippers. You also have to understand that no one's created a sustainable business by drop shipping products from AliExpress. But try not to worry because in this video, I'll be going over the three best alternatives to AliExpress that will really explode your business. But before we get into the video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified every time I post a video. And with that being said, let's get into that intro, boy. So the first alternative to AliExpress that we're going to be talking about is Alibaba. Alibaba offers a ton of different products that are actually unavailable on AliExpress, which should be really good to hear, especially if you're someone that's trying to get into dropshipping. The products that are listed on Alibaba are actually of higher quality because there are manufacturers on this website trying to sell you their product directly. Now, not every product listing is coming directly from a manufacturer, but I would say about 90% of the products are coming directly from the manufacturer that made it. Now, if you compare that to AliExpress, for instance, there's a lot of middlemen on AliExpress who post a listing, go buy that from a supplier, and then upcharge it and sell it to you. So if you want to think about it, when you're buying through AliExpress, in most instances, you're just buying from a middleman. So your dropshipping business consists of a middleman buying from another middleman and then trying to sell that product. So if you can bypass that entirely, it would make a lot of sense for your dropshipping business. Alibaba is also a much more experienced supplier because they have multiple million dollar companies that are actually on that website trying to sell you your product directly. You will also be able to get better pricing if you go through Alibaba because there are such large companies, they're used to negotiating prices um, when it comes to the per unit cost of the product. One huge misconception about Alibaba is that a lot of people think you have to buy a hundred or a thousand units of a specific product if you actually want to use Alibaba as your supplier. And that's just not true. In many instances, I've actually found Alibaba suppliers who allow me to only buy one unit of a product, which really helps my dropshipping business. Now, the final benefit that we're gonna talk about when it comes to using Alibaba is the fact that you can actually add your label onto your product. That's huge when it comes to separating yourself from other dropshippers. And that's because other dropshippers can simply go on AliExpress and all sell the same exact product and there's nothing different about it. But when you can transition yourself into a brand instead of a dropshipper, you can really make a sustainable business that's gonna pay you month after month. Not only that, but the perceived value of your product is gonna go through the roof because people are gonna associate your product with your brand. And let's jump into my computer and I'll actually show you how I find suppliers and kind of compare AliExpress to Alibaba step by step. Now, the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is go to AliExpress. And in a new tab, go to Alibaba. And this is because you wanna be able to transition between AliExpress and Alibaba pretty easily. And I found that the best way to do that is just by opening up two different tabs. Now, when you're actually on AliExpress, you want to type in exactly the product that you're looking for. Um, and in this instance, we'll just take this muscle massage gun, for instance. Um, now, I'm not telling you to sell this product as it is pretty saturated. And last year it was all the rage. But right now, I don't think you'll necessarily make a lot of money selling it. And you're basically just going to compare the two that you find. So if we look on AliExpress, for instance, 
we basically see that all of the products listed on here are over $40, which doesn't leave much of a margin for you if you wanna drop ship this product and actually be profitable. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna look around on Alibaba to see if we can find a cheaper product. And I already see one right here. It's about $28. You can buy one at a time, which is really nice and it gives the contact information for the actual supplier. That's really important because if you wanna put your logo on it or customize your shipping, you can definitely do that through Alibaba. And this is why it's gonna be the first alternative to AliExpress that we're gonna be talking about just because there is so much customization that you can do on Alibaba for basically the same price that you're gonna find products on AliExpress. Now, the second alternative to AliExpress that we're going to be talking about is a dropshipping agent. You can actually find these people through AliExpress or in different Facebook groups. The reason why an agent is so important is because this person is actually on the ground in China, speaks the native language, and has a pretty good relationship with manufacturers. So not only are they gonna be able to find you better prices, but they're also gonna be able to tell you if a manufacturer is trying to rip you off in terms of fees or prices when it comes to shipping. If you do decide to use a drop shipping agent, you will also have the ability to private label your product. And that basically just means you'll have the ability to put your label on the actual product. But in most instances, it makes a lot of work a lot of additional work for the dropshipping agent. So if you wanna go down this route, I highly recommend using Alibaba and not necessarily a dropshipping agent just because their job will necessarily be to find you better pricing and better shipping times, but not necessarily help you in terms of putting your logo on your products or ordering in bulk or anything like that. A great thing about having a dropshipping agent is that you can really start to build a strong relationship with them and they'll actually help you find winning products and find better manufacturers for the products that you wanna drop ship. These agents are also gonna be able to offer you faster shipping times that are way better than your standard e-packet or standard ocean shipping that AliExpress has. Now, not everyone can work with a drop shipping agent, and that's because they're pretty selective in who they actually wanna work with. If you're someone that's doing less than 30 orders a day, then I would recommend you not use a dropshipping agent because in most instances, they work with really successful dropshippers, some who are doing over 100 orders a day. So if you're someone that might only be doing 30, they will most likely prioritize you lower on the list than somebody who's making 100 orders a day through them. In my personal opinion, I would say if you're someone that's really beginning to scale with your dropshipping business, you wait to transition into a dropshipping agent until you're doing about 40 to 50 orders per day, and then you can start talking more about pricing and shipping methods and really begin to customize your products as well. Now, the last alternative to AliExpress that we're actually going to be talking about is a fulfillment center. Now, obviously, if you're brand new to dropshipping, this is not something that you can just hop into right away because it does take a lot of capital and you have to make sure you're running a successful dropshipping business. You have to make sure that you have a winning product that's definitely in demand and that demand's not just all of a sudden going to fall off a cliff. And that's because with the fulfillment center, what you're gonna be doing is ordering between 100 and 1,000 products from Alibaba and shipping it to your fulfillment center. And this is truly the key to success when it comes to having the e-commerce brand. All the top gurus and top experts definitely use this method once they've solidified themselves and found a winning product. You can even start rivaling some of the biggest and best e-commerce companies around, like Amazon for instance. And that's because with the Fulfillment Center, you'll be able to ship your product directly to customers in only two to three days, instead of the standard couple weeks that you would get on AliExpress. Now, the only con about this fulfillment method is the fact that you're basically gonna have to pay shipping two times when it comes to your product cost. And the first time is when you ship it from China to your fulfillment center. And the second time you're going to have to pay shipping is from the fulfillment center to the actual customer. But in my opinion, if you found a winning product and you solidified yourself in terms of you know exactly how to run your drop shipping business, I think this is easily the best way to go. 
And that's because you can really control everything, the packaging, the product, your logo. You can start sending it directly to influencers to get more marketing materials for your product. You can start using your brand as the key reason why people are buying your products. And that's because they're getting extremely fast shipping and now they're seeing all the influencers using your product. Now, when you're first starting off, using AliExpress and Alibaba are definitely the ways to go as you probably don't have a lot of capital and you are on a pretty tight budget. And that's perfectly fine because that's how everybody starts out. But as you begin to scale, become more profitable, and you really wanna make sure that your customer is having a great experience with your brand, then it's time to switch from using the standard methods that every dropshipper is using when it comes to fulfilling their orders. So if you learned something in this video, make sure you hit the like button as it really does help my channel grow and I would greatly appreciate it. And if you are new to my channel, basically I make videos about how you can make money online, diversify your income, and the cool thing is you'll be able to watch me do it step by step. So if that's something you'd be interested in, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.